So hacking refers to the innovative teamwork that must take place for these solutions to come in place. And the marathon comes in that we normally take one or two days in these events, so participants have an average of less than 24 hours. Actually to create a network that can come up with creative solutions and to bring diverse group of people to interact with one another. And I love the concept because the reality is that we have the capacity as human beings of very creative thinking. It's, it's really about a, uh, a mindset and a process to solving problems that MIT brings to the table. There's an old proverb that says, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. This is the ultimate uh, think tank. Our brightest minds are here under one roof with the united courage of conviction to research, diagnose, and present a plan of action. And I would like you all to, to work with me to see what ways we can react to the times that we have opportunity to make an impact on, on those lives and, and turn things around. My baby brother died of an overdose in 2001 from Oxycontin. He struggled his life over and I was there with him, so it's, it's uh, near and dear to me. I work in health IT, I'm a nurse, but I work in health IT, and my goal and my mission to support and facilitate this work around substance abuse is to help the data to flow. We need to catch people young, educate them when they're young, and find a way to break that cycle for our communities. Innovation doesn't always mean creating something that's impossible. Innovative solutions are often simple, but can create long-lasting impact. We recently started a needle exchange program in Pike County. Um, yay! But our problem is that nobody comes. Ooh. So we need creative solutions to figure out ways to make it a possibility for people to get needle exchange, along with um, all over the county. One in three, one in four, or one in three people in eastern Kentucky have prediabetes and of those people who have prediabetes 90 percent don't know it. The hackathon is another innovative approach to tackling Kentucky's health challenges. It's important to convene people with different backgrounds, different areas of expertise to diagnose problems from many different perspectives and devise solutions that create long-lasting impact. Uh, we often see technology as a deterrent towards a healthy lifestyle. I believe that this doesn't have to be the case. I think we can use it in our school systems, in our government, and in our healthcare organizations as a tool for accountability and for education. How can we help trauma survivors cope in ways that don't avoid turning to substances, or if they're using substances, how can we help them develop other coping methods um, as a way to address that problem instead of relying on substances? Um, so we came together um, as individuals from varying organizations throughout Kentucky and um, we made teams based on common interests and we came up with problems and then solutions to those problems and then how we would go uh, forward with uh, implementing those problems or those solutions to those problems. But these challenges aren't new. We've battled these demons for generations. We know a solution is not going to come overnight. But that isn't going to stop us from persevering and pressing forward. staff from MIT that were here facilitating and said they were as impressive as any high school teams they've seen across the country. And that just speaks volumes. They were connected through technology. They were conferenced in. Their video was just an incredible opportunity. They were hours away, uh, but participated over the last 24 to 36 hours and one ended up getting first place. Yes.
We need physical activity, we need motivation, and we need initiatives. This is my 16-year-old friend, James. James, would you like to go run a 5K with me? No. James, if I gave you some incentives, like where you could earn some points to get a fancy new iPod, would you do it? Yeah, let's go right now. If you look at Pike County alone, that's over $40 million to treat the folks from 2014. Our program will be 500 per patient per year, which is a huge savings. And this is a demonstration of the app. If a family member or a friend, someone in the drug users network is witnessing an overdose, they can click overdose. A notification is sent to emergency service responders and to the um, nearest uh, responder. And then they can insert this information if they have it and click submit. That information is also sent to both, both parties. And then they're told the response time that's remaining for the responder to arrive at their location. This is Oasis. This is Susanna. She fell and broke her wrist during a cross-country meet. She went to the doctor and was prescribed a controlled substance. Her provider then counseled her and enrolled her in Oasis. Then her doctor showed her the information in the app for the drug prescribed to her. Lastly, her provider placed her in a chat room in the app with other patients with similar conditions and medications. As a provider, Oasis will be fantastic. It will be so easy for me to enter the patient's information for them to get auto-selected into a professional monitoring their chat room discussion and with other people like that. This will be important for patients with socialized isolation is the leading cause of substance abuse. The results will be life-changing for so many patients. Patients will be able to listen to my counseling and to be able to seek out more information through the app. As we're creating a solution to fight obesity using technology, we came up with a simple weight loss app called 555. This app is different from other weight loss apps because it's more user friendly with its simple yet eye catching layout compared to the other apps on the market. Our potential revenue would be coming from corporate sponsors such as PNC, KYOSM. The layout isn't the only part of our app that is simple. We use a simple yet effective method for weight loss known as the 555 technique. This technique incorporates drinking 5 glasses of water a day, eating 5 servings of fruits or vegetables a day, and walking 5 minutes 5 times a day for a total of 25 minutes walking. Studies have shown that it takes up to 216 days to form a habit. Our routine will be split into a series of 6 21 day sessions that will increase from 555 all the way to 10 10 10. By the time you finished all sessions, you'd be on this program for 126 days. The Passport Health Award for Substance Abuse, how can we improve pain management among the Medicaid population? $1,000 for this prize, and it's going to Oasis! We got you on the screen, guys. Congratulations. Oh, they were on the right, I think. Look at that. There we go. Look at that.